Hey guys, your are Gabriel, and welcome to the final episode of this season of my Liverpool career. With the end of season four, with of course the FA Cup final and of course the Champions League final. Um, I didn't upload yesterday, which I'm sure you noticed. Um. I just didn't feel uh, up to it. I don't really have anything more than that. So yeah. Just think of it as me taking a day off. I don't I, I really I wasn't overly. Uh, I was tired. Oh, I, I, I just. Just didn't read the date for the final of this. Simple as that. I'm allowed a day off too. Watched all around the world, and it's our privilege to. I don't. I don't take days normally. Always sends a shiver down the spine. It really does. It's situation. the famous cup competition so. in the world, and really looking forward to it. Yeah, that's... The game today, Tottenham play Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool, we know they're looking good, feeling good. They had that that's away my, uh, in their last game. That's why I didn't have one yesterday. Yeah, and I think the confidence that they gained from that 2-0 win will be enough for them here today. We have three changes for Spurs since they last played. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Now, you will notice, one, you will have noticed one change in the starting 11. Uh, no Joel Matic. Liverpool have just made one alteration. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. The referee asserting his authority here early on, giving that free kick. Um, you're probably wondering... Some of you wondering why is that? Um, the reason Joel oh, is not playing is because I stupidly got a red card with him in the in the final Premier League. Oh, he's won it back. That's a really so, good tackle. His alley. Now he's suspended. He cannot They've play. He's coming mm. But he'll uh, he'll appear in the in the uh, Champions League final. Oh, that's why it's gone out. Money. He might be through. Penalty. Well, that could be a card as well, at least a yellow. Two decisions. Yep. No surprise. He says yes. What color card? He said yellow. Yeah, you can't really argue. And what a chance this is from 12 yards. Now the big question is: Do I give this to David? I mean, my confidence in his penalty taking is. Really taking a shot. Shit, he's taking it. He scored! Yes! That's a relief. That's the outcome that and if fake up final gives us a goal. Well, let's take another look at the goal. The first time I've of uh, taking the lead against Spurs because if you guys remember I was going to be playing a uh, meaningly, yeah, me meaningless game against them at the end of the last video they were up next so as I, I played the remaining Premier League games which is of course where Joel got his uh red card the game between good to have another look at the no. goal. goal the second game the game you didn't see ended one all Spurs open scoring through uh, Christian Eriksen and I scored through I think it was Renato yeah it was it was Renato Sanchez who scored the goal so 
Lawrence. David Alaba. David Alaba. Scores. Into the attack. After. Our... Was it three? This is. They could do a better cross than that, I think. Is it three or four? I'm going to have to look back now. No, no, it was three, wasn't it? It's four overall he's missed. That's another bad foul! The Tongan. This is another yellow card. This is going to keep getting yellow cards until they get a second. And player with a second card. Now, both Rose and the Tongan who are walking a, a fine line between staying on the pitch and departing for an early shower. Nato Sanchez! Ooh. Almost scored again! And against the white half of North London. Faneuil Klein. Cut it out. That's a Chadley. Here's Rashford. Come on. Cup final day, and for this football club, a really special day. And for the manager as well, has been talking to us about Ericsson. Ericsson is headers. Um, thankfully, off target. I say thankfully, as a goal against me in the previous this game wasn't a header. Was a free kick I stupidly gave away. He's taken it away there with a very good tackle. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. I completely forgot how good Ericsson was on them. A lesson I will quickly learn. <laughs> Don't do that again. This is absolutely hands down the only option. Rigi! Yes! And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Well, they've got a goal to show for their excellent performance in a game where really yes, in the Valkyrie. Yeah, and I didn't quite doubled my advantage just before half time. Uh, the leading side is there on merit. Restarted. Spurs have been a pain in the ass to a breakdown in the Premier League. In the FA Cup final, they turned to absolute shit. Well, they've had the first half to get the occasion really uh, out of their system. I don't understand that, ladies and gentlemen. I do not understand. Of the Emirates FA Cup final. Yeah, it was cagey a little bit at times in that first half, but as you say, Martin, they've got a feel of the occasion and looking forward to the next 45 minutes. And the ball goes out for a goal kick. Well, you can score a goal at any point in a game. He hasn't really looked like scoring any so far, has he? We'll be hoping for better as the match develops. Yeah, well, as you can see, he's touched the ball very few times, but, you know, he doesn't need too many touches to make a difference. Me now. On to the attack now. Getting away from the heroes. Oh, he got the tackle in. No. Eventually. Sewell! He'll uh, go out for a corner. That's a good so far, so good. In the first half, I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. In the back of my mind, I was kind of worried about this going to extra time. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. Unless Spurs pull something miraculous out of their hat. Very soon for you. There will uh, be no extra time. By Leverkusen away from home. Yeah, high quality fixture this one. There won't be much quarter given. Just a one shot, but none on target for Tottenham Hotspur. 
Well, they've been almost non-existent here in front of goal, and I think that's affected the confidence Maybe of the strikers. Not. Just really can't hit the target. Quick into the tackle. Throw off of Danny Rose. Going to be a throw. Now they've got a chance in this part Fine. of the pitch. Nathaniel we'll Klein. Oh. Not win that. Rashford. Well, they're in a good position no. here. Oh. And the cross is in. Cross is blocked. That's shame. However, however you say it. You can see the corner count so far. Lamella! He's oh, tried, yeah, away. tried his luck, but. In the jury he was put in there to do. A lot. David Alaba. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Get if you're wondering why I chose him over for 20 minutes to go, here's Ali. Hello, uh. Looking down at the benches, yeah, there's going to be a change. We've got. I actually didn't. Shortly to come. What I did is I didn't take Matip out. Free kick. Foul by Eric. I said, you know what? I'll put. I'll select. Activity. You know, when it comes up. Losing team. Yeah, like it'll come. give you some options. I selected the options that they that the game would solve the problem, the issue just for this match because obviously the red card applies to this match. Let's see how he does. Oh, hit the par. I was I was not expecting that. For Liverpool. Coutinho. A little less power than he might have actually scored. Here's a challenge. Good one. Eric Lamella. Renato Sanchez! And the goalkeeper got a touch Ooh. to that. Fine save. And it's back so yeah, the, the, uh, the game shows. Does that change? Why it chose him over? Going back to Here. that... Uh, Save, bewildering to the Execute chosen from? I don't know. Hugo Lloris. Well, uh, there you go. That's, that's why he's in Support play from his teammates. Yeah. Unmarked now. He's lost his... Ooh. Well, they're keeping the pressure on with all these corners. Seven more minutes to go. Spurs are all but big... Mm. Mm. Uh, I don't see him getting two, two goals now. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. Right. Good defending. Shouldered off the ball by the tongue and He's blocked that well. Showing determined humiliation, but uh, didn't uh, it didn't help. Jansen, which I'm gonna get, but may end up just being a consolation if he. We're going to get something from this attack. Nice idea with the through ball. Firmino does... Does his defensive... He's well, he's not exactly a, a defensive player. That's for damn sure. There could be a break on here. Origi has money in support. But Tony is closing in on him. Origi! Oh, I was pressing circle, I was thinking Coutinho would smash it in, but he left it. I mean, it's not going to matter, because there's the full-time whistle, the FA Cup is secured for the fourth consecutive season. The champions. Four from four. Joy amongst those players. They've worked long and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so, and... Boy, they deserve it. These are special moments for a very successful team. Congratulations. Well, uh, include them. a little bit of the celebration. Of course, I'm going to be doing this twice. Well, it is the most famous domestic club competition in the world. The oldest, still widely celebrated. And to go up to collect 
the FA Cup. Alan, you've done it. Yeah, it's a magnificent feeling. And these players... Demo and Dima Farigi's goals deliver the FA Cup once again. This has been based on that. The FA Cup winners. And you know what? I I can't help but wonder why couldn't they do that, at, like back in December? Why couldn't they beat Spurs two 0 back in December? You would won the Premier League a little bit earlier, or if you had done that, lazy pricks. Regardless, on to the Champions League final. Once it loads, it'll take it too long. Thank you. Leverkusen got past Dortmund. I don't actually know the final score in their second leg. Actually, uh, let's get Emery up first because he's closer to that E3 overall. He's almost the same ring as my main strikers. <laughs> oh yes, Van Bergen. Finally he went up to 77. Jeez. Took you a while. You prick. Can we probably actually just... Oh, 1-0. So, both, both games were... Uh, both second legs were 1-0. After both first legs were 2-0. Interesting. That's, a, that's an interesting parallel. Obviously, Daniel Sturridge is not renewing his contract at and feel there's confirmation of Phil Matip's suspension being finished. Sim ahead and get on with the big moment. The big game. Really, Emery? Really? Oh, the thing put him up to a three. He would, uh, it's, uh, you know, that monthly thing where it likes it push players a little onto the next ring sometimes. Huh. Not expecting that. Fair play. <laughs> Hang on, I just want to quickly check. Can Emery win? Daniel Sturridge is on the list. The Lear is actually a Leverkusen player. Cosiello? Cos Cos mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't see Emery on the list. He's not. He's not there. Okay, so that would mean he has at least three goals. He would need four goals in the final to win the... the saying that, so would... Uh, like, the only player who could win it is Daniel Sturridge. He'd need, he'd need a hat trick. I'll bring him right on. I'll just bring him on. It'll, it'll be the same thing. He won't. He'll 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 accept that. The Amsterdam Marina. Oh, so Holland is the uh, final venue of the Champions League. Amsterdam Arena hosts the final in season one. Like, I mean, not in season one. It's in season two. Did 
Oh no, I, I think I'm thinking. Am I thinking of. No, I, th I think I'm actually thinking of last FIFA's final career. I think it was the Amsterdam Arena event. Because well, I remember saying that it was like final. funny it's how a Dutch team was in the finish. final and it was in a Dutch state. I think so. I think it will, Martin. I hope we rise to the occasion in the way that I think the players will out here today. This is the Bayer Leverkusen lineup today. Another shot! Woo! Sam, hey, was not. He's not messing around. He's. He's hungry. Fermino! Oh! Cleared it well. For me. I probably should have scored. Her. Hey, getting that. Or however you say his fucking name. That will be Liverpool's throw in. That guy. Roberto Firmino. That guy. With hair off the line. The teams are capable of winning this and putting their names in the record books. And it should be the sharpest of contests given in the innate match. nature of the Champions Cup final. Uh, well, it's been an awful lot of hype, hasn't it? And the goalkeeper can take charge now. Here's the uh, Cozzi Bellarabi. Makes a challenge here. Bellarabi. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Quite a dangerous position now. Like, mm, Nicely worked <laughs> until that point when it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain Fine. possession. Played down the wing. Keeping the wide attack going. No one's going to match any one for Pacey's very the quick. Lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Foul by the Liverpool man. Penalised for that. Ben Leno with the very agile piece of goalkeeping. We can look at it again. Well, his reaction to Bird Leno, who could have been in goal for me, to be honest, because he was he was someone I consider her as a uh, possible. Origi. He's signing. He's coming forward uh, with some danger to take the lead. Good stop by the Paris goalkeeper. Said he to First statement made here. Mane! This opening goal in the Champions Cup final. Well, that could Cuts be me off. off. He goes one well, foot now. His team's got a very good defense. Oh. He opens the scoring in the Champions League final. He's disgusted with his defenders. Just, just nods in. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And it's 1 0. Fantastic. Only enough. Has opened the for score. six goals and <laughs> look at the uh, top goal score. I'm laughing because I'm joking, obviously. Like, Very pleasing if, for a, if somehow I did score s six more goals, I, I would find it hard to imagine one that Good interception. team that could be beaten seven nothing in the final of the Champions League. How did they get there? So if they could be beaten here. that easily. Unless they were all s lucky goals, which that was kind of a lucky goal. So it's a good place to win the ball here. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. They cope with it well defensively. Renato Sanchez. It's not really been. Um situation where got the tackle in right now it's the winner obviously but uh obviously you'd expect there to be Coutinho another goal at least in this Champions League final Coutinho seems hell bent on making that sure thing here's Deli Ali and he scores bottom corner no Thing. Mm, I'm lucky about that. That is just pure, for 
pure skill. In terms of shots, there's a real gap between these two sides reflected in the recent goal. Found the space four, and stuck it. Bottom corner giving as to how many shots they are gonna rack up because they've been peppering that goal. Leno absolutely no chance. Deli Ali scores his second goal of the competition as well. And the door is now slowly closing on the hopes of Leverkusen. I really can't believe this, Martin. It's not often you see it. No shot so far. Incredible. I want to say their first Champions League because they don't. I don't think they were. Really I don't even know if they've ever been in the final. Roberto Firmino. Nathaniel Klein. Yeah. Regardless of their European pedigree or perhaps lack thereof, I, I don't want to speculate because I don't know that much about Leverkusen. This team looks to me, Alan. But I will say it's half time and Leverkusen have 45 minutes to get three goals. Well, the first half flashed by, second half underway here, Champions Cup final. Yeah, and a chance for people just to settle down in that dressing room at half time and come out and produce the best in its final 45 minutes. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Well, this is how this Fine. team can play sustained attacking football, but when they lose. There's it, Roberto Firmino. Avoids the challenge. And that's deflective behind Papadopoulos. He's got to he's tackle he's in. Goals, he, he had to. He had to get it in, and, and he had to get it right. To find space within shooting distance. Anything goes wrong there, it's three, well you know, or I have a penalty. Throw him for Liverpool. Now Sadio Mane, defender to it first. Attacking well here. Corner by Leverkusen. More than happy to give him a corner. And he's in. Or because it. Ooh, I was gonna say, it's less dangerous, but it almost We've results the in them getting a goal. Now it covers all in me getting a goal because there's a counter attack. Sadio Mane, oh, br mm. Hit. one of the only players who will match Sadio Mane for pace. One of the sides is going to Damn it! Gets his foot in there. Man who's uh, been linked with Liverpool, ironically. So. I don't, I don't know uh, where where that deal will stand with uh, the possible imminent arrival of uh, Mohamed Salah. And for people saying he's a Chelsea re reject, let me just uh, put a name to you. Uh, Daniel Sturridge, Kevin De Bruyne, Romelu Lukaku. People said they were Chelsea rejects. Kevin De Bruyne? Was brought back after one, to the Premier League after one season by the Manchester City. And that will be Liverpool's throw -in. And is one of the best players in the league, no matter who you support. If you support Manchester United and you can look me in the eye and honestly tell me Kevin De Bruyne is good. You are a liar. Because he can't. He is damn good. Chelsea fans know it and Manchester United fans know it. Romelu Kaku. 20 goals a season. What a fine save. How no one has even bidded for him yet. What the fuck is going on? Like.
There would be two problems to Liverpool signing Lukaku. One, we don't play the style of football that would suit Lukaku, which is why Christian Benteke was a stupid idea. And two, Everton probably wouldn't sell to Liverpool anyway. It would probably be their last choice to sell to. Like, if it... If they either have to sell Lukaku to us or lose him on free a, in the summer, they probably desperately hope that they lose him on free and he doesn't. He wouldn't end up going to Liverpool anyway. Yeah, that's how, that's how much Everton would not want their best player. Come on, let's be honest. He's their best player. As Renato Sanchez scores the goal that wins me the Champions League. For the third season, um, saw the pass coming and got there first. Comes in strongly. Good forward play from them, and it will go into the middle now. And it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly a wasted cross. She almost completely forgot to bring on uh, Emery. I'll bring him on for Roberto for me because why the fuck not? Um, Substitution about to happen. So, don't 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 judge Salah because he was bought in by Chelsea. And the only reason Chelsea signed him and Chelsea fans do not tell me this is bullshit. Liverpool were actually linked with Salah before he moved to Chelsea. Chelsea learned of this. Chelsea signed Salah, and they never used him. Because Chelsea didn't want Liverpool signing a player. Because they knew. They probably thought, oh, this Salah guy, maybe Chelsea were like looking at him. But they weren't too sure whether they were going to go out of their way to get him. As soon as they heard... I guarantee you, the second they heard Liverpool were interested, they were like, "Oh shit! If another Premier League team wants him, we can't, we can't be having that." They, he has to either come to us or fuck off, stay the fuck away from the Premier League. They do not. So they signed Salah. They never used him. He had two Premier League stops. Surge left you. Hopefully, on to almost win the Premier League. Liverpool, I guarantee you that eats Chelsea alive. Watching that. Romelu Lukaku. Who? 20 goals a season. One of the best strikers in the Premier League. He, he by far. And that's coming from a Liverpool fan. And he's still te oh, technically an Everton player. So... You know, I'm telling the truth. Supporters now. And Kem De Bruyne, who's one, who's another one of the best players in the Premier the League. So, if you know, if you think Chelsea players who aren't used at Chelsea can't accomplish anything, you are dead wrong. So, oh, let's let's see how Salah does at Liverpool. If he shit. Then he can be branded as useless. But until then, and, and mm, getting ready for it now. Yeah, one of those. Mm, you have no right to criticize him for for Chelsea fucking up. Am I right? Yeah, I am. That's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. I'm enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe right now. Oh. Oh, I will see you all next time. Until then, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.